It is the day a Toronto transgender woman who flew to Thailand hopes will change her life. She is finally about to have the surgery she wanted to fully complete her transition. I was with Danica Rain in the operating room. The clinic tells me I am the first reporter they have ever allowed in to witness the surgery. We'll start now with Danica in the minutes before she heads to the operating room. It is such a simple thing, and she has probably signed her name thousands of times. But this signature signifies the end of a life that has tormented her. Danica Rain is about to get the body she always thought she should have been born with. It's like an hour to go. Yeah, you're right. I've been looking at the clock uh -huh. and uh, kind of counting down the hours and the minutes. I was thinking that I was going to be getting more and more afraid as it comes and uh, I'm not. Danica started transitioning from Denis six years ago. That transition is about to become irreversible. Do you think you're ever going to miss Danny? No. Whew, this is going to be a hard one. I don't miss Denny at all. But I know my daughter does. I know that she's happy for me. But she misses her dad. And I know I'm still her dad, and I always will be. My daughter's 12 now, and she told me how it's hard on her that she's now at the point where she's almost forgotten what Denny looks like, what Daddy looks like. And it hurts me that it hurts my daughter. I've been waiting for this for some but there is no turning back. Living a lie as Denny had been destroying Danica. She had attempted suicide more than once, and at one point was addicted to crack cocaine to ease the pain. In her mind, this surgery is saving her life. A little pain. What's that, a little pain? Yeah. Ah, wonderful. It feels very surreal. Like, my dream is finally being realized. And these are happy tears. Suddenly, that long-awaited dream, so elusive her entire life, is speeding closer. Okay, let's go. Okay. Can you guys tell me before the anesthetic starts? Yes. Okay. Danica is now less than a minute away from going under anesthesia. How you doing? I'm doing good, Cynthia. Yeah. I'm so happy you're here with me. <laughs> it'd be nice to see a familiar face. Not that you can see my face right now. That's okay. <laughs> Just know you're here. <laughs> When Danica is under the anesthesia and prepped, Dr. Kamal sits down and begins to work. The room is freezing cold. The surgery that is so momentous for Danica is routine for him. He's done it more than 3,000 times. I'm allowed to watch Danica's entire surgery, but I can't show you any more with my camera. Dr. Kamal has a unique way of doing the surgery, and in this highly competitive market, it's a closely guarded secret. They don't want other doctors stealing how he does it. Dr. Kamal doesn't move from his seat or speak the entire time. After three hours, it is over. Yes, done. Everything's fine. It went well? Yeah, it went well, no problem. And how long will her recovery be? Recovery? Mm -hmm. Well, one or two weeks in the hospital. Less than 24 hours later, Danica is alert and glowing. Okay, you look way better than I thought you were going to look today. Honestly, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm a 10 right now. I'm so happy. Um, the pain was a little sore, but they gave me morphine, so obviously that took a lot of the pain away. Finally, my body matches the way that I feel on the inside. I would have to say this is one of the best moments of my life. Definitely.
I was amazed at how good she looked and she was so happy. Now you may have noticed a small bandage on her neck. She had what's called a trachea shave, which OHIP does not cover, but she feels that her Adam's apple was the final indicator that she was once a male and hopes that now that that's gone, when she comes back to Toronto, she will fully blend in, and in her words, as a woman. It's interesting, in the trans community, there's a real sort of debate about mm -hmm. whether or not um, the surgery is what sort of is the pinnacle of what everyone is going for, and not everyone feels like they want to do that. No, I mean, this this series is definitely through Danica's lens. This is her perspective on it, but she certainly doesn't speak for everyone in the trans community. There are so many different rich opinions and points of view on this topic. Um, I'm interested about phantom pain. You asked, so we're, I'm in Bangkok, and you actually called me and said, Ask her if she has phantom pain. And uh, you just know that in any kind of any kind of surgery, there can be any kind of amputation. That's right. There is, there is often phantom pain. And and she laughed and she said, "Yep, I've got some phantom pain." But I was reading online; it diminishes in a very quick uh, time frame. Amazing, amazing! I can't wait till tomorrow.